Hey guys and welcome to another video from Coastal Impressions. In this video we're going to show you how to set up your conversion tracking and uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our tools, we're going to go to measurement, conversions, we're going to add a conversion by hitting this little plus sign over here and we're going to go to website. We're going to click off purchase, down here we're going to name our conversion, let's just name it website purchase three and the reason I'm adding three is just because I've named other ones that before uh, it doesn't really matter what you name it but you could be descriptive of what this conversion is for and then we're going to come down here and we're going to add use different values for each conversion so check that one off and then down here it doesn't really matter what our value is you can just leave it as is and select every time for recommended for purchase because every purchase is valuable so check that one off. Down here's 30 days, so that's gonna give you a 30 day conversion window, which means that if someone clicks your ad within 30 days, they will convert, uh, it will show a conversion for that. All right, and then there's a view through conversion window, which means that if they just saw your ad, um, so a person may see your ad and not interact with it, then convert later. So if they see your ad and then later convert, so this is gonna be something that would be great for display ads and that kind of thing. But uh, in this case, we're not gonna worry about this. Just have it as one day. Include in conversions, definitely have this checked off. That allows you to see your conversions later in Google Ads. And the last one here is the attribution model. We're gonna leave that as last click. Uh, you can do it as first click. This just allows Google Ads um, or your conversion tracking here to uh, give credit to the last click. So if they clicked multiple different ads, the last click from the last ad will be the one that gets credit for this. So that's the way we're gonna leave it. So create and continue. Now we're gonna install the tag yourself. So click on that one. And it's gonna give us a couple different tags here. So just leave it as the global site tag isn't installed on all your HTML pages. Leave that and uh, we're gonna come down here. There's a global site tag and there's an event site tag. So the global one is the one that's gonna connect your Google Ads to your Shopify account. The event site tag is what's gonna trigger a conversion. So let's first add this global site tag. So copy that one. We're gonna go over to our Shopify account, this into our admin section, and we're gonna go up to settings. We're gonna to go to settings, and we're gonna go over to checkout. In checkout, scroll down, you're gonna find additional scripts. We're gonna paste this right in there, just as it is, and hit save. All right, so there's actually one more place we're gonna add this code. So we're gonna go into our online store. This is for the global tag only. And we're gonna go up here to where it says action, or actions, click on that. Go down to where it says edit code. And you're gonna see a section up here called head. There's gonna be a, the top part here, it's called head, and there's gonna be another section down below here with the forward slash that's called head. This, everything in between is in the head section of your website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here and we're gonna make a little space for our code. And uh, this is gonna be our global snippet. So the global site tag um, from Google Ads. So that's where I'm gonna paste it, right there. And this in uh, Shopify, this is gonna allow it to appear on every other page other than the checkout page because the checkout page is not controlled. It's kind of hidden. And that's why you have to go through your settings and check out to add the code in. Um, but in here, we can add it to the rest of the site. So let's do that here. All right, so hit save. That's all we need to do with the global one. Go back to your Google Ads now again. And we're gonna grab the event snippet. So we're gonna leave this as page load. And we're gonna come here, copy this. Go over to our checkout area again. So just to refresh, it was settings and checkout. Down additional scripts. Make a little space down there at the bottom and paste the event snippet right in there as well. So there's a couple things we have to do with this event snippet. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that this event snippet doesn't get triggered a second time. So one way we're gonna do that is we're gonna make one little space here and add in this code if first time accessed above, um, above the script here. 
And then we're going to add it one more at the very bottom here, below the script, paste in another one. This is going to prevent it from using this code if someone's already been there. Um, and that, that can happen if someone refreshes the page once they've done a checkout. It can trigger a second conversion and uh, your ads are going to look better than they should, which will allow you to spend more money and when you shouldn't. So let's continue on. There's a few more things we're going to change. So next one here is in transaction ID. We're going to put in an order number in there. So with this, so all these codes I'm pasting in here, I'm going to leave in the description so you'll have easy access to them. So I just pasted that on the end. As you can see, I just have one and two. So I took out before it looked like this. If I take this away here, before it looked like this with like a quote almost. And between that, those single quotes, we're going to paste. We'd actually, I have the quotes on it already. So we're just going to paste right over top. But you can see the single quotes are on either side here. Last thing we want to do is this value cannot be one. Well, it can be one, but it's going to track your conversions as one each time. So we want it to track our total price at the end here. So we're going to paste in another code right over top of that one. So this one, check out total price. So now whenever someone checks out, it's going to be a dynamic value. So it's going to send our Shopify account is going to send or this, this conversion code is going to send over uh, the actual value of that checkout. So if they purchase something for $432, that number is going to get sent over to your Google analytics or sorry, Google ads. All right, so once you've entered that in, make sure you save that. And that's going to allow your tr conversion tracking code to be active on your site. So we still have another step though, and I'm not going to do it in this video. So I'm going to leave a link to the video and it's going to pop up on the screen on the top right or left. Uh, click on that video. It's going to be how to ensure that your tracking is working properly. Um, and that way we can make sure that uh, this is all set up properly and everything's firing the way it should be. So click on that video and I'll see you in the next one.